Hello. What can I get for you this morning? All right. Seems easy enough. I'll get that to you in a minute. Hmm. You know, I find it interesting that you've consistently been our first customer of the day, every weekday for the past few months. <laughs> of course I noticed. What else is there to do? Count the coffee grounds? Count the number of outbreaks within the past month? Really? There haven't been many recently, you know. They're doing a good job at keeping it contained. Well, yeah, you're right. There's always bound to be a vampire that escapes, finding their way into the general public unsuspected. Human error, I guess. Did I hear about the professor? You mean the one who got outed as a vampire? Um, of course I heard. The whole campus got shut down for a while over it. How could I not notice? Yeah, I guess that was the exception. Uh, how long ago was that? Yeah, pretty recent, I guess. <sighs> On that lovely note, here's your drink. Will that be cash or card? Great. Hey, uh, not to be too nosy, but can I ask you something? Why don't you come on weekends? You show up every morning before class, Monday through Friday, but I've never seen you on Saturday or Sunday. Most of our regulars show up on weekends, but not weekdays, not the other way around. You just don't have energy on Saturday mornings? Uh, that's understandable. What about Sundays? Oh, you go to church? Mm. I don't know about you, but I feel like there's been more people going to church ever since the first vampires were found. I guess it just makes people feel more secure. I, not that I blame them. Were you one of those people? One of the people that started going after the, uh, incident? Ah, uh, I see. You know, you never really stay back to talk to me like this. What's the occasion? You have school off today. And you have an essay to do? Uh, it's a shame you can't enjoy your day off to its fullest extent. Well, just to throw it out there, you could always get that assignment done here. Hell, coffee shops are a signature study spot, after all. And you could always grab another drink or two while you work. <laughs> of course I'm not just saying that to increase sales. I would never... Well, fine, maybe that's a part of it. But I really do think it would benefit you to get your work done here. You didn't bring your laptop? That's no issue. Just go and get it and come back. <laughs> I knew you'd give in. I'll see you in a few minutes then. Hey, I'm on my break. Mind if I take a look at what you're working on? Yeah, I'm on my lunch break. It's almost noon. <laughs> Time just flies by, doesn't it? Why am I not eating if I'm on my lunch break? Uh, I'm just not hungry. Never been a lunch kind of guy. What do you mean, what do I mean? I just don't like having lunch often. Breakfast and dinner are just better. Subjectively, of course. Uh, well, 
that aside, uh, what are you working on? Can I take a look? Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. Let me... Oh. There's practically nothing there. What have you been doing this whole time? Just thinking? What is this paper even on? Oh, really? That's actually something I'm good at. I mean, I could do it for you if you wanted. Oh, just in exchange for an extra tip whenever you stop by. You think I'm joking? Not only am I good at this stuff, I actively enjoy it. I'd love to help. <laughs> I doubt you've ever heard this before. Someone begging you to let them do your work for you. But there's a first time for everything, I guess. Hmm. Here's my idea. We meet up somewhere before this thing is due, and I can write your essay with you to give you the chance to actually absorb the information. Uh, think of it as tutoring, but with less work for you. Well, if I just write it for you and send it to you so you can submit it to your professor, you don't really learn anything, do you? Hmm. I'd say it's a pretty solid plan. Don't you agree? I'm just saying, it's quite the opportunity. I wouldn't pass it up if I were you. You will? Great. Uh, so, when is this thing due? Two days. Okay, uh, we'll make this work. Here's my number, and can we work out a day and time later? My break is over in a few minutes. Eight, two, six, seven, four, seven, three. All right, that's my number. Uh, if you want, you can put my name in as Icarus. And yes, that's my real name. You can imagine how many sun-related jokes people made about me as a kid. Examples. Well, when I was 15, I went on a trip with my family overseas, and of course, we went by plane. My friends thought it was so funny to text me before the flight saying, make sure you don't fly too close to the sun. I wasn't even the pilot, I didn't have control over that. And if I was the pilot, that would be very concerning, as no 15 year old boy should be let anywhere near a cockpit. Sorry, I went a little lot there. Uh, hey, before I get back to work, could I get your name? Hmm, nice. It suits you. Uh, how do you spell it? Mm hmm. All right, I'll try to remember that. <laughs> I messed up a friend's name for years a while back. Never letting that happen again. Hey, it's not my fault. He never told me it was Michael with an E-A instead of an A-E. I think we should start spelling every name the same way. We don't need eight different ways to spell Elliot or Caitlin. Shoot. Ah, well, time for me to get back to work. Uh, remember to text me, okay? You better not bail on me. Okay, okay. I'll see you around.